All right, so I know what you're thinking. What in the world have you gotten yourself into now? That's a great question, and one I ask myself pretty much every day. So, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but our city, Rochester, is celebrating its 200th anniversary next year, so our bicentennial. And of course, they've asked me to work on that, and I'm always coming up with different cool ways that we might be able to give a piece of Rochester for people to take home. So I saw this great article, I posted actually on my Facebook page, and I'll post the link in my comments. If you do go on Facebook, look for Downtown Geek. It's a great article about an artist out in Europe that they actually go around and they find manhole covers that have the names of cities, have cool patterns on them, and they actually put paint on them, and then they imprint them on t-shirts, they imprint them on tote bags, things like that. I thought that would be super fun. So I looked around our city, and we do have lots of manhole covers that say Rochester on them. Uh, unfortunately, most of them are in the street, which it would be super fun and exciting for me to actually be in the street imprinting right while traffic's going by. However, my police chief has asked me on numerous occasions to stop doing those types of things. Be not because he's concerned about me getting hurt. No, no. It's because of all the paperwork associated with me doing those types of crazy things. So I called my friends over at the Department of Public Works, and they were able to furnish me with a manhole cover that I could practice on. So here we go. So so what I did is I went to Michael's, my favorite store, probably a preferred customer at this point, and I bought just a, uh, it's a mat, it's just a mat for uh, regular photos, anything like that. Then I went ahead and I got paint. This is an acrylic paint. I got black just because I think it's going to show up the best. So it's just a multi-surface acrylic paint. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll this on here now. I want to make sure that I'm getting all the lattice pattern because I want to show that on the t-shirt and of course as much of the word Rochester as I can, but of course. Rochester is kind of a long word, which my city name was just a little bit shorter to be a little bit more convenient for some of these activities. So I'm going to make sure I get enough black paint on here so that it's going to show up nicely for me for our little experiment here. All righty, so there we go. Next, I went ahead and I got a t-shirt went with gray, although my signature is black, but black on black isn't really going to work and I wasn't confident enough this is going to show up very well, so I wasn't about to do white. So I've just got a plain old t-shirt. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to lay it down on top of my paint. Then I'm going to take my clean roller right here, actually, which was clean until I just got black paint on it. Okay. And we're going to go ahead, since that got dirt on it, and I'm going to just press. I'm going to press and hope this is going to work. Make sure that I press all this down. We're going to see how cool this looks. What I'm trying to do is see if my lattice pattern is actually going to show up or if I need to get something custom made, because of course I have sources for that as well. Okay, I think I have adequately padded this thing down. Okay, let's see what happens. It's live, who knows? Let's see what we did. Woo -hoo -hoo. Well, look at that. Not too bad for my first time. So, like I said, DIY might be one of the things we do, and here it is already. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see what we're up to next time.